नेक्स्ट वन इज कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी हॉलो ब्लॉक एंड कंप्रेस्ड अर्थ ब्लॉक the uh, about the bricks i have discussed previously now i will discuss the two things uh, uh, about two things uh, in detail one is the hollow block second is the compressed earth block that is the advanced technologies which are currently following uh, by different uh, countries uh, uh, for the development of their houses their residential buildings so these two uh, the construction technologies are used openly one is hollow block second one is the compressed earth block hollow blocks are precast concrete units made up of approximate mixture of cement and aggregates such as sand river bed gravel and crushed stone means with the cement sand and uh, small size crushed stone uh, we made this concrete blocks that is also called concrete masonry unit cmu so it can be produced in different shape and sizes for all construction to fit different construction needs and designs uh, you can uh, uh, get the these blocks as per your needs so you you give the design like i need this much length this much width this much height they can produce uh, as per your requirement most of them are made in full and half uh, length units as per uh, as per modular design uh, means for example if you need the cutting of bricks just like we do in the bricks bevel bricks queen bricks queen bricks so for that uh, for that reason they are made in full and half lengths these hollow blocks are prepared by concrete block technology now what is concrete block technology it is based on principle of densification of lean concrete mixed to make regular shape uniform high performance masonry units means uh, this in the molding unit we compress this uh, concrete uh, which is made of of lean concrete in which cement content is less than 10% so uh, with that with the help of that concrete and then we compressed uh, for the densification so then this block will form concrete block technology can be easily adopted by uh, sort special needs of user by modifying design parameters such as mix proportions if we need high strength uh, masonry unit water cement ratio and type of production system it is an effective means of utilizing waste generated by stone crushers w means uh, we can use the uh, stone dust small particles of stones quading and quading is the process when uh, we break the bigger stones from the hills so this process is quading uh, in that process we got a lot of waste material we can use that material for the making of concrete masonry unit and stone processing unit when go to the finalization in the industry uh, the technology has high performance in the areas where raw material are easily available so in the hilly area stone is easily available so uh, uh, even the bricks transportation is difficult on that places in the hilly areas so in these areas uh, stone dust is available uh, stones are available so we can make this uh, concrete masonry units easily so now advantages of hollow concrete blocks here are advantages reduce cost in was investment at least 30% compared to fired clay brick masonry uh, usual uh, as compared to usual masonry work the price is 30% loss uh, less because uh, there is a hollow portion so reduce more than 50% energy compared to fired clay brick masonry in the fired clay brick masonry we need uh, uh, fuel uh, either it's a oil or or forest uh, uh, forest uh, uh, dry material like uh, wooden planks etc so uh, in the making of uh, hollow concrete blocks we need uh, almost 50% less energy as compared to clay brick masonry easy and speedy construction have good thermal and sound insulation property uh, it can be produced in different shapes and sizes to fit different construction needs and design that is the advantage 
नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स आर अवेलेबल एंड हॉलो कंक्रीट ब्लॉक टेक्नोलॉजी इज एक्सेप्टेड बाय द बिल्डिंग कॉर्ड रिड्यूस द डेड लॉर्ड ड्यू टू द हॉलो पोर्शन द डेड लॉर्ड ऑफ द बिल्डिंग रिड्यूस रिड्यूस इज मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट एज देयर इज नो साल्ट एफ्लोरेंसेंस सो बिकॉज वी डू नॉट यूज द क्ले विच हैज द इम्प्योरिटीज सो वी नीड ओनली सीमेंट सैंड and crush material which is almost salt free so that's why in the walls there is no fluorescence reduces the thickness of plaster due to size accuracy and less cement consumption due to fewer joints because uh, we get very plain surfaces with the hollow concrete blocks makes environment friendly as fly ash uh, used as one of the raw material that is the uh, sustainability example uh we use the raw material uh, when f- from the uh, sugar canes uh, we got the sugar so their uh, waste we can use as a fly ash uh, in the sim- uh, as a replacement of cement for the building of uh, hollow concrete blocks these are durable and maintenance free means their life is long as uh, they are not attacked easily by environment it acts as a damp proof as it has a low water absorption its water absorption capacity is less than 10% so it is also itself act as a damp proof co- uh, course concrete masonry units so technical specifications of block typical size available in the market that is uh, 16 inch by 8 inch by 8 inch that is 406 by 203 by 203 mm but uh, another size is also available that is 12 inch by 8 inch by 6 inch uh, 6 inch is the length 16 inch is the length 8 inch is the width 8 inch is the height average compressive strength at 28 days we got 5 mega pascal to 10 mega pascal uh, mixed proportions 1 ratio 12 or 14 means one part cement or 12 to 14 part uh, aggregates is used just like when we make a normal concrete one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 one cement 1.5 sand 3 crush so in the in this aggregate is 12 to 14 times water absorption in 24 hours less than 10% by weight of block that is also very good property now the second technology is the compressed earth blocks In, uh, in this technique we uh, improve the quality of soil uh, the clay material which we use for the making of bricks we add some additives means some mixtures like cement so that the strength of the clay can be improved so that is a, a new technique then after the mixing with the cement we compressed that uh, clay so we got compressed earth blocks that has a good properties in strength in water resistance uh, and their joining between different layers that is also very good uh, property of compressed earth blocks the compressed earth blocks are masonry units of cu- uh, cuboidal shape and are manufactured by compacting raw material earth mixed with stabilizer such as cement or lime under a pressure of 2 to 4 mega pascal using manual soil press such as ball ram it is also termed as stabilized compressed earth block that is i have already discussed about the uh, compressed earth block we mix the clay with cement to stabilize its property uh, like their uh, uh, their strength and their joining of uh, soil particles so we increase the this property of soil with the help of stabilizer means uh, with the cement cement is a binding material which hold the soil particles then we apply the pressure and then uh, uh, soil pressure such as a machine ball ram it is also termed as stabilized compressed earth block The basic principle of all machines is the compaction of raw earth to attain dense even sized masonry 
some of the hydraulic machines can even manufacture interlock interlocking blocks here you can see uh, this uh, is a block when you will place this block the uh, that will come same on this location and there will be interlocking developed so even we can also minimize the mortar in this type of bricks so that is again the very good advantage The interlocking blocks are highly suitable for speedy and mortar less constructions. Even we can go minimal mortar quantity. Here are two examples. Uh, that is a uniform shape, but that is a very different uh, with different interlocking phenomena as well in different uh, concrete mass, uh, compressed concrete, uh, compressed compressed brick blocks. Now advantages of compressed brick blocks or compressed earth blocks. A local material like soil is easily, easily available in the uh, in our area, in every area. The production is made on the site itself or in the near areas. Means this is a very good opportunity for any entrepreneur that can make the bricks at their own location without any environment issue without any burning of the uh, wood uh, for the burning of uh, uh, bricks. So that is a very good advantage of compressed earth blocks. Thus it will save transportation, fuel, time and money. An adoption material. Being produced locally, it is easily adapted to various need, technical, social and cultural habits. There you will, be, you will feel no social issue. A job creation opportunity, this is an opportunity, compressed earth blocks allow unskilled and unemployed people to learn a skill, get a job and rise in social status means the person can make these breaks uh, with their little experience. Limitation, limiting deforestation, with this we do not burn the bricks, so uh, the firewood, the wood will be saved, firewood is not needed to produce uh, compressed earth blocks so it will save the forest it has high strength and durability and needs minimum maintenance uh, a transferable technology it is a simple technology requiring semi skills easy to uh, get simple villagers will be able to learn how to prepare it in a few weeks Efficient training center will transfer the technology in a week times. Market opportunity. According to the local context, material, labor, equipment, etc., the final price will vary, but in most of the cases, it will be cheaper than fire bricks. Reducing imports. As it is locally produced, there is no need to import heavy and expensive building materials from far away. Energy efficient and eco-friendly. It requires less energy than fire bricks. The pollution uh, in the environment emission will be thus less. Fire resistant thermal and sound insulation is also good. Now uh, the disadvantages. Proper soil identification is required or lack of soil. If there is a good soil is present, then that is a very good. And if there is not a good soil is present, like the soil is, uh, have some uh, uh, roots of clay, roots of wood, uh, so just like that. Or if there is a no soil, lack of soil, so that is a disadvantage. Uh, ignorance of the basics of production and use. If do not use the cement stabilizer, do not compress properly, so that will be bad compressor block low technical performance compared to concrete definitely uh, low com as compared to concrete but it have some com uh, strength so as compared to concrete then it will be disadvantage untrained teams producing bad quality products low social acceptance due to uh, counter examples by unskilled people or bad soil uh, and equipment so the persons who have pro, uh, provided in the industry do not rep didn't represent the product very good in a, in a good manner so then this is also disadvantage 
uh, over stabilization through fear or ignorance implying outrageous course I mean if we more add more semen then that may cost our uh, the cost may increase so that is also disadvantage